Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad 3. This is a brand new Lenovo we just got in and the client wants to upgrade their hard drive to a 500 gig hard drive and we have ordered it and hasn't arrived yet but in this video I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the uh, hard drive on this one. It comes initially with 256 gigabyte SSD hard drive so if you want to go to one terabyte or two terabyte SSD I'm going to show you in this video how to do it and before we start you want to power it off completely and flip it upside down and we're going to get a few tools ready the tool number one is a screwdriver set I highly recommend you guys to grab the iFixit tool set they come with a screwdriver set or the pro version which include an opening tool and some pliers and tweezers so in this video I'm gonna just use the Philips number zero from this tool set also these bits will last you much uh, way longer than the normal screw set bits as they are S2 class steel which means they are hardened steel so they don't go bad they will last you uh, many years all right enough said so on the bottom of the laptop on the bottom casing we're going to see a whole bunch of screws we're going to remove all the screws that we see starting from one corner keep the short screw in the one pile and the long screw in the different pile also i realized that there is only one person of my viewers that are subscribing to my channel or supporting by clicking like button it will be really helpful and supportive if you guys could click like or think about subscribing on my channel it really helps and motivates me to make more video and take requests from you guys i would really appreciate it all right so the front end screws are the short screws the mid and towards the back those are the longest screws they're all the same size and height so there you should have only two piles the short one and the long one the short one in the front the mid and the back these are the long screws all right for the opening tool i'm gonna be using a, a guitar pick this is a metallic guitar pick uh, what we're gonna do here we're gonna stick the guitar pick between the bottom and top cover right over here and we're just gonna twist it gently i'm sticking about one or two millimeter i'm not sticking the whole thing inside to the, to the corner to the side go all the way back to the hinge to the corner once you see that side, it slowly you can go ahead and lift it up, work it around. The back end. And just go ahead and lift it up. You can do this side too, or just while you start lifting up this part, this side is just going to start loosening up. Alright, this laptop comes with an 8 gig of RAM. And pretty much you have 4 gig onboard soldered and 4 gig exchangeable and the hard drive that they're using in here it's an m.2 nvme hard drive there's a thermal pad that is doing absolutely nothing you're supposed to touch this one over here and touch that one the nvme drive right there but it's actually not doing the job right so you can actually if this thing falls off on the motherboard you're in big trouble and this thermal pad is not helping but you can leave it there this is a short nvme hard drive you can place a normal size nvme hard drive if you have all right here i have an optane which is kind of nvme but it works different way because i don't have on hand a regular nvme but i'll leave the link in the description for 500 gig to one terabyte or two terabyte nvme drives so pretty much what do you want to do you want to remove this and drive right here by removing this tiny screw right here at the back so remove the screw and the drive will come out in 45 degree angle and in the same angle you want to pull it out okay the nvme will have only one cut in them the m.2 will have two cut in them Alright, once you get the new NVMe SSD, imagine that this is a new NVMe, 
you want to plug it again in the same position all the way in bring it down towards the back but right now you see the screw it this one is not going to reach there's a little gap in there and the reason is there's a riser right in here this riser over here you need to remove this riser with the pliers or if let's see if i have this thing you can use pliers but i have this kind of screw bit opener and it's not the right size so pretty much i'm gonna grab my pliers you can grab tiny pliers and start rotating this one to unscrew it and remove this riser from there and put the riser in the back side so place the riser in the far back let's see if i can have a big fingers here and a clumsy you don't need to tighten it up too much just a firmly rotation right there it will do the job so grab the nvme bring it over slide all the way down bring it over now you can put the screw at the back and the screw will hold it in place once you did that just grab the thermal pad place it over but the idea you get it that's how you do it so let's go ahead and remove this one i was supposed to get the hard drive today but there was a problem i guess So, if you get the short NVMe ones, same thing, bring it in 45 degree all the way in and towards the motherboard. There we go. Grab the thermal pad, bring it over, put it right on top. And the next thing would be to grab the top cover, bring it over and just snap down the sides the back end make sure you hit those clicks push down once it's in there you pretty much all set all you have to do go back and screw the bottom cover remember the short screws go in front of the laptop and the long screws go to the mid towards the back i hope you guys this video helpful and helped you guys out to upgrade your hard drive for lenovo idea pad 3 if you did like it click that thumbs up button i really appreciate it and if you guys can subscribe it will be really supportive for my channel thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video